To multiply sine decimals, we'll first determine the sign of the product and then we'll multiply. Just to review, if we're multiplying two numbers with the same sign, the product will always be positive, meaning a positive times a positive is positive and a negative times a negative is positive. If we multiply two numbers with different signs, the product is always negative. Positive times a negative is negative and a negative times a positive is negative. We have a negative times a positive, so this product will be negative. Now that we know the sign, we just need to ignore the signs and multiply. So we'll have 8.2 times 0 0.8. Now remember the way we do this is we count the total number of decimal places to determine how many decimal places the product must have. So we have one decimal place here in the first decimal and one decimal place in the second decimal, so the product must contain a total of two decimal places. So knowing that, we can now multiply ignoring the decimal points. So now we'll multiply by eight. Eight times two is 16, carry one. Eight times eight is 64, plus one, that's 65. So now we're done multiplying, but we know this product must contain two decimal places. So starting at the right, move to the left two places. So one, two, so this product is, so this product here is 6.56. But again, we know this product has to be negative, so it's actually negative 6.56. Looking at the second example, we have a negative times a negative, which means this product must be positive. Let's just make a note of that here. So knowing the product's gonna be positive, we're gonna determine this product ignoring the signs. So we'll have 4.58 times 2.3. Notice how this first decimal has two decimal places, the second one has one, and two plus one is three, so our product must contain three decimal places. Knowing that, we can now multiply, ignoring the decimals. So three times eight is 24, we carry a two. Three times five is 15, plus two, that's 17. Carry a one. Three times four plus one would be 13. And now we're gonna multiply by two, but we're gonna put the product underneath the second column here, underneath the seven. So two times eight is 16. Carry a one. 2 times 5 plus 1 is 11, carry a 1, and 2 times 4 plus 1 is 9. So we have 4, 13, carry a 1, that's 5, and 10. But now we have to have three decimal places. Starting at the right, we move over left three times. 1, 2, 3. So here's our product, and again, we know it's positive. So this product is equal to positive 10.534. I hope you found these two examples helpful.